This video will show you exactly how to use ChatGPT prompts to create SEO-friendly content that's easy for both humans and search engines to read, which means it'll be able to rank high in search engines like Google and Bing, and it'll be more likely to generate clicks and leads and sales. My name's Alex. I'm a digital marketer with Lover Fighter Writer. And if you'd like access to all the AI writing prompts that we're going to use today, as well as 20 plus other prompts that I've written for ChatGPT and other AI assistants, you can get a copy of this spreadsheet that I'm looking at right here, which is my personal list of my favorite ChatGPT marketing prompts. I'll put a link in the description where you can sign up for that. And if there are any prompts that don't currently exist on the list that you'd like to see added there, then you can just let me know via email or by commenting on this video and I will add it into my queue because I believe that having a small number of prompts to work with such as this is much more useful than having say a thousand or 10,000 prompts like some resources provide. But when someone actually requests one, I'll definitely consider adding it. And if I don't add exactly that prompt, I'll probably add something which is similar or can be adapted for it. And when you come into a Google Doc like this, I recommend going to make a copy because that will copy it into your Google Drive. You can also go to add shortcut to drive because that way you'll have a shortcut to my version of the document. And so as I update some prompts and add new prompts, you'll be able to access them. And if you want, you can also go to download and download it as whatever file type you prefer. But today we're working with my SEO content writing prompt. So if that sounds good, please like the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's get into it. Now, my last video was all about developing this prompt which is based on a prompt provided by one of my SEO instructors, Matt Diggity. When you're in my ChatGPT marketing prompts spreadsheet, you can go to resources and there's a number of links here, including this one, which goes to Matt Diggity's original prompt, which mine is based on. I kind of adapted his. And in that document, there's also a link to his YouTube video where he goes over exactly why these prompts are so effective for writing SEO content. The first step when I'm using ChatGPT or another chat-based AI assistant to write SEO content, or really any type of content or copy, I start with a command like this, which tells the AI exactly how I want it to write everything that follows. And it ends with something like, if you understand the above and will use it when implementing all subsequent commands, respond with understood. And usually it'll just respond with the word understood. If it says anything other than that or anything in addition to that, then you might need to add a prompt that specifies that you don't want it adding extra stuff. But for ChatGPT, this is working very well for me right now. I'm not going to read the entire prompt right now because it's fairly long and you don't really need to hear it. You can just watch me use it. I'll have it all displayed on screen in a moment. And of course, you can use the link in the description to sign up for a copy of it. Just in case you're not aware of what NLP means, it stands for natural language processing. And it basically means what I describe in the rest of the prompt, which is to write the content in a way that it's easy to read and understand for both humans and the robots that search engines use. And then once the AI assistant has responded with understood, I move on to the actual writing prompts. And I like to start with a outline prompt such as write an SEO friendly outline for an article titled headline. You can also start with asking it to brainstorm headlines for the article and then pick one and use this prompt. Then I like to move on to asking it to write the first three to five sections, depending on how long I think those sections are going to be. And then depending on how long the article is going to be, you can proceed to something like continue writing the next three sections, or you can go straight to continue writing all remaining sections. And for best results, I do recommend modifying the outline it provides to make sure that it's covering all the right subtopics that you want it to. You can always do that after the fact, but it's just a little bit more efficient, in my opinion, if you optimize it a little bit first. And then once the article has been drafted, you can use rewrite commands to get it to modify existing sections. So I provided two examples of those here, which are rewrite the following sections while including, and then you have a placeholder for what to include and then colon, and then a placeholder for a list of sections to rewrite. And then the other example that I've provided is for the conclusion, because a lot of the time, no matter what the initial instruction is, by the time it gets to the conclusion, it makes it kind of generic. And so for this one, you can use something like rewrite the conclusion to make it less generic, more hard hitting with a clear call to action, and use a unique and interesting heading. 
and that can lead to a much better conclusion right out of the box. Now we're in chat GPT and I'll just walk you through how I used this to rewrite an article for my blog. So this particular article is about a marketing strategy called the dream 100 and it used to rank quite well, but it's not ranking very well anymore. And when I reread it, I decided to just start fresh because I wrote the initial one a long time ago when I was much less experienced. And then I updated it a few times over the next year or so, but I haven't updated it in like probably three years. So I think it's just better to start fresh with this one. And so I used my initial prompt right here. It responded with understood. Then I used write an outline for an article titled Dream 100 Marketing Strategy, Instructions and Inspiration. And so it did that. It gave me the outline. It's got an introduction. Uh, and then it's got H2s, H3s, all the way through to the conclusion. And then I said, write the introduction and sections one and two, bearing in mind all earlier instructions. That part probably isn't necessary, but I did use it there. So if you're ever finding that it's falling off, you can just remind it which instructions to follow. And it did a pretty solid job of that. So I said, continue writing the next three sections, and it did that. And then I said, continue writing all remaining sections, and it wrote the rest. And then I just did a quick review of it and saw a couple things that I wanted it to change. So I said, rewrite steps one to five, including three subsections for each method, example, and key tactics. And when it rewrote this, it made it a little bit longer, but it really cleaned it up, made it much more concise. And also now each step has a uniform structure to it, which is going to make it easier for people to read and understand, and probably also easier for search engines. And I was pretty happy with that. So the last thing I wanted to change was the conclusion and I used the command rewrite the conclusion to make it less generic, more hard hitting with a clear CTA and use a unique and interesting heading. And so it gave me the heading time to build your dream 100 start today, which is pretty solid. And it wrote a superior conclusion. And that article ended up being about 1200 words in total. And so I brought it over here into phrase, which is uh, the SEO tool that I use for optimizing my content. I also use phrase for a lot of writing. It's usually a little bit handier than just using chat GPT, but since chat GPT is free for everyone to use and phrase is paid, I wanted to focus the main writing part of this tutorial on chat GPT and it's scoring 35% uh, compared to uh, an average competitor score of 52%. And that's actually pretty good because this is only 1200 words and the average length of the competitor content is 2200. So what I will likely do is look at some of the clusters that I'm missing, such as funnels and any others that are kind of underrepresented. And then I'll come up with some headings based on that. And then I can just use the same type of command that I used before in order to draft those sections in ChatGPT or right here in Phrase. And by the time I get up to around 2000 words, this will probably be around 50 to 60% optimized. And then if I want to continue optimizing it from there, I could, but I would probably just publish it and see how it ranks. And then if it seems like it needs more optimization, I might do that at that point. So that is how to write high performing SEO content using ChatGPT or any other AI writing tool that you might have access to. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback or any problems with any of these prompts. I'm always looking to improve my prompts and troubleshoot them. And of course, like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any requests for future tutorials or additional prompts, and I'll catch you in the next video.